Hello everybody, I'm Nistorm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Greece. In the last episode, uh, we continued working on building up our industry, as always. Uh, we're also working on trying to build up political power to get rid of our corruption. We're down to modest corruption. Uh, we're using some national focuses here in the EU policies tree. Just grab a bunch of political power before we leave. So, you know. Uh, that should hopefully work. We, we've also, you know, proceeded down this tree here. Um, we need to grab influence the police. That's going to increase our corruption. So I want to reduce our corruption as much as possible before we increase it again. Um, so we're going to try and get down to negligible, and then that should hopefully bump us down to slight. Right? And then we can just get back to negligible again. Um, you know, basically, it's going to cost us 300 political power regardless. It is what it is. Research is continuing. And right at the end of the episode, basically as I was about to end the episode and decided to just leave it as a cliffhanger, is that Russia declared war on North Korea, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Thing is, North Korea, independence is guaranteed by China, which means that Russia is now at war with China. And actually, Russia is nationalists. So, if we look at Russia, Russia, yep, is at war with North Korea and China. And we will see where that goes. I don't think I can send uh, send an intervention. Oh, I can send an intervention force. Um, I can send two divisions. The question would be, who would I want to... S well, we're going nationalists, so we would want to send it to Russia. I think. I absolutely think that we should. I absolutely think that we should do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unassign those three divisions. Create a temporary army. Then this army is going to get sent as intervention forces. All right. See if we can uh, help the Russians out and get some army experience in the uh, in the deal. Now, one thing I should be able to do here is edit some of my templates. See, what is this? This is combat with. Let me just like I gotta clean up some of this. So, because we have three. Three different templates. We're gonna be simplifying things here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh let's just give you Some different looks, just so that I can see what we've got on our hands here. Aha. Uh -huh. Change all the division of templates to that. Alright, let's let's let it run. 
Russia refused to allow our intervention force into the country. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I, I tried. Um. Hmm. Did I improve relations? A daily cost of 0.5. Ooh, that would be all of my... Mmm. All right. Well, never mind then. Never you mind then. China sets nuclear forces on alert. And Korea set their nuclear forces on alert. Well... This could end up in a nuclear exchange. Uh, that would be bad. That would be bad. Right, well. All right, let's just continue working on my templates here for a minute. Okay. I think this is good. This is going to be your motorized infantry, I think, right? Yeah, motorized infantry. This is our mechanized infantry. Our actual paratroopers. Our marines. Our air assault. Light air assault and armor. That is a good distribution, and we're going to be setting these up for 60 and 30 width. So these are all going to be my 60 width, I think, divisions. And then we're going to have to create copies of those that are going to be 30 width. We're going to do that, then what I want to do is... Switch this over. Armor. Armor. Yes. Okay. So let's edit you. Let's, see, let's just slow things down a little bit and we'll work on this while it's running. All right, mechanized infantry, motorized, Reese, um, self propelled air defense battery, a tank company. Do we want a tank company? No, let's remove the tank company because we're going to put in actual tank battalions. We're going to put in some self-propelled artillery. Actually, hold on. Um, I don't know what that was. Um... I think what we're going to do is we're going to make this armored infantry. No, mechanized. Like, what is armored infantry used? They use infantry fighting vehicles. I see. Whereas mechanized infantry does not. They just use armored personnel carriers. Mounted ATGMs. Okay.
Let's do armored infantry and then let's do self-propelled artillery. We're going to add some tank companies to it. We're not going to put actual, like, you know, frontline armored forces in here. They'll have some armored support. That brings me up to 57. What's the width of a cell propelled? Three. Perfect. Yes. Save it. Now you can only hold 18. Like. Artillery leader and artillery expert. Huh. And you can command 26. I'm not sure why. Max army size. Your lieutenant general. And yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this guy has plus four and plus four, so I guess 18 is the base, but you're 15. Okay. Well, it is what it is. All right, let's get some of these in training. Then I guess we'll need... What? Four of them. All right. Where does that put me in terms of being behind schedule on... No, we're not attacking the Nationalists. Because the Nationalists are the very ones that we actually want to switch to. Uh, so we're going to be behind on everything. All right, then. Invite a controversial speaker to the campaign. Nope. Inconclusive outcome. Does not currently have a majority in the parliament to form a new government. Additional parties must be convinced to join. 
All right, so we need to give up and let the Golden Dawn try. That will allow us to flip the Golden Dawn. Yes. Right. Let's let the Golden Dawn try. All right. National focus bypass, glorify the regime of the colonels, form Golden Dawn Death Legions, bypassed, influence the police is bypassed, because I guess. The facts are not completed within 27 days. Minus 300 political power. Does not have elections. Can we, uh... Because Golden Dawn's in power, right? Uh... Can we permanently suspend elections? Not necessarily. It is what we're going to want to do. Refuse to be part of a coalition where any of the following take part. Well, I think we're probably going to take a hit on political power, which is unfortunate. I mean, we have another 250. 350 political power sitting there. Excavation 3 is done. Real construction speed. Let's start. Let's improve our equipment there. Treaty of Lisbon. No.
Are we going to get a big negative chunk of political power? Enlargement of the European Union. What is your country's vote? No! Yep. But we are in power. Now, it was bypassed. It means that we didn't actually get the corruption hit. Hold on. This will get us into positive. Yeah, bit of a hit there, but it allowed us to bypass a few things. Well, what did we kind of miss? Just out of curiosity. Well, don't know. Inorganic fibers. We're going to be moving on to the Constitution. Gains, uh, agrees, constitutional crisis. The dictatorship begins. We'll start working down there. All right, we got our inorganic fibers. I should probably... Enables building of biofuel refineries. That might be a good idea. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Let's see, when is the next election? 2008. Okay. We have four years to suspend elections. So I don't need to worry about doing that just yet. How are we doing? Weekly balance is negative 7.7 billion. That's a problem. Uh, oh, all those new forces that we put in are massively expensive. So, let's see. My GDP, though, is good. We should be able to climb out of this. Germany's revoked our access. Let's see. How long will it take to build an office sector? 22nd of May, 2006. Okay. 
24th of May, 2006. Alright, let's try to build the office sector. Put on European Constitution. No. France wants to help build a... Um, civilian industry, we're going to contribute 10%. We're going to go ahead and accept that. Again, beggars can't be choosers. At this point. Still. Let's also lease the industrial complexes. I think we're going to have to spend money to make money at this point. France is not even on the board in terms of our in terms of influence. Alright, how is the war going between Russia and China? Not well for Russia, it would seem. Not well for Russia at all. Uh, then do I want to send the intervention forces? Maybe not. As the price of housing apartments have went through the roof, especially in the last year, people have taken out larger and larger loans to afford the housing. Okay, housing bubbles bar burst. Let's see here. Let's see. We hit stagnation. That's not. It looks like the budget's actually a little bit better. EU budget contribution. We want to get rid of that. All right. Treaty of Lisbon bypassed. European Constitution, Convention, all this stuff is bypassed. All right. Though I still think we have a little bit more political power we can squeeze out of the EU. Yes, we do. Right there. A hundred more. France wants to build another civilian factory. We will definitely accept. Because we can afford. I think we can afford it. We have two civilian factories that are under construction. I will take them. We sent an attache. Will they? Uh, they will not accept. All right then. All right then. Let's see. We're good on transport helicopters, so what I should probably do. 
is move my factory from transport helicopters for the moment. Do this equipment. Myanmar is cracking down on protests. 3D wax printer. All right. Let's get large scale 3D printing. Financial collapse leads to conflict in Andorra. All right. The only change is negative zero. Excavation. No, that was CRISPR that we got there. Uh, human Genome Project. Let's go ahead and work on that. Right, but I think this is going to be a good place to go ahead and stop. We didn't really make a ton of progress. I mean, we did switch our government, so that's good. Actually, let me just grab this real quick. Five days. Does then that allow me to reduce corruption? All right. Reduce my corruption a little bit further. And let's go to withdrawal policies for the EU. Start that. And we are now, once again, in the positive on terms of budget. So yeah, that was a temporary setback. I'm gonna try and get some office sectors built, see if that improves things. All right, we will keep on working. We got a lot of equipment to fill into our divisions now that I've made those changes. Yep. All right. But for now, we'll stop here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.